Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy from Buckeye Sports Center. Today we're going to go ahead and take you on a walkthrough through this beautiful 26 LSV, brand new for 2023. So I'm in the bow of the spacious 26 LSB. I'm about five foot eight, five foot nine, and I've got plenty of room, probably about six inches more from my feet here. And it's really easy to get comfy with the nice wraparound cushion vinyl, and can't forget the armrest. So we just removed the bow filler cushion in the front of the 26 LSB to show how easily you can go ahead and walk through. We have ballast tanks beneath us, so you have a nice walk through. Right underneath here, we even have an additional step to be able to go ahead and step out on the non-skid. So if you wanted to get out on the front of your boat, no problem. Show you a little bit of the storage here next. Have these nice trays right underneath the seat cushions in the bow. And then also, we have drains inside them. If you lift up, you have additional drainage right below there. One of my favorite features in a Malibu boat is communicating storage. Find a home there. So we lift this up here. We lift up the observer seat here. You can see we got communicating storage. So we have additional storage on the driver's side. Nice little closet here. And then up in the bow, we've got two speakers here, which we'll show you here in a little bit. Grab handles, cup holders, and flexible phone holders that are really nice. On the other side, we've got phone chargers over there and USB ports. So a couple of cool features here at the helm. We've got two screens. On this screen, we're gonna have all of our vitals, surf information, um, and boat information here. Along, we'll always have our oil, um, pressure, temperatures, speed, RPMs on each screen. There's four tabs through this screen. And then over here, it's the fun screen. This one is um, actually a Wi-Fi compatible, so you can download whatever app you want. It's Android based. Um, so you could, in theory, download Spotify, Clash of Clans you can play on it. Um, this will also control all of your comfort, creature comforts in the boat. Your stereo will be controlled from here. Heaters, lighting, um, the whole boat information. We we'll go ahead and step into this nice, large, comfy seat. You feel like right at the helm here. If for some reason you can't use the touch screens, maybe the ride's a little bit too bumpy at the present moment, we've got hot keys over here that we can control the surf gate and center it. We can control our power wedge and stow it if we need to. And we can also turn up and down our volume, switch tracks, or move our way through the screen system. Below here, we've also got our horn, power for the system, and then to start the engine. Nice phone holder there. And then the power seat. This is a big deal in a Malibu boat. It's really nice, especially for short people like me, to be able to go ahead and push up and be able to see over the bow if I want or drop down and get comfy. You know, if we're just sitting out, chilling out. Below here, we also have a glove box. Throttle, obviously. We have also another little wireless charger over here. And I skipped over the phone holder, um, but working our way back down here. Cup holders, heater vent over there that actually pulls out. And we've got one of our um, wet sound speakers, and then the subwoofer with a nice custom engraved um, Malibu uh, logo on it. Even with the swim deck, they definitely nailed the details on that one. And with this nice comfy seat, you know, it's really easy to go ahead and kick your leg over, be able to talk to the rest of the people on your boat, make sure your surfer's ready, wakeboarder's ready before you go ahead and pull them up. Um, but really easy entry to get in and out, no matter what your size is. Um, Ted, the other salesman here, he's filming the video right now. We're going to use him as the example of how tall the bimini is. But he's 6'3". He has no problem fitting in this seat. And for short people like me, if I don't want to use the power wedge, 
I can go ahead, or I should say the power seat. <laughs> I can go ahead and flip up the bolster, and I got plenty of uh, height to see up. All right, we're over on the observer side of the 26 LSV now. And first thing I wanted to show is the detail that they put inside the uh, billet, even put in the little Malibu um, logo over top of the um, glove box cover, a really nice feature. And then moving to the back here, we've got easy access to storage for the observer. Be able to get the majority of anything you want out of your storage over here. Throw this back in. Whoops, I don't have it in all the way. There we go. Nice and comfy to go ahead and kick up your legs. Plenty of room. We've got plenty of cup holders. Nice grab handle here. Cushioning over here if you wanted to go ahead and sit a little bit differently. Um, we've got phone holder underneath here. We threw Ted's iPhone down here. Pretty cool feature there. Definitely well thought out on the details here. Then something I really find cool on this boat is if you're the type of person who wants to face forward when the boat's in motion, this is probably one of the first tow boats to do it. This is really cool. Kick that up. Nice comfortable seat to sit here and lounge. Be able to face forward. You know, my mother, she gets motion sick, so sitting facing forward helps her out a ton. This is the only way she'd be able to ride in this boat, or she'd have to sit in the back corner there. And then they put the cushions on a hinge here. So easy to go ahead and get down into extremely deep storage. I've got the Bimini top up right now for display, so the lighting's not the greatest, but you can see, again, my legs aren't the longest, but that's been pretty deep storage down there. And they go ahead and line it all off with either non-skid or it's um, finished um, fiberglass down there. And then lastly, really nice cooler section here. Again, cup holders. Nice and easy to go ahead and pull your nice cooler out of there. If you've got like a nice bag, soft-sided cooler to get out what you need. Definitely well thought out observer section. Continuing down the port side of the boat, um, we have another nice seat back, lifts up. Again, plenty of room to go ahead and kick up your feet. Working our way down the side, obviously a lot of cup holders. We've got a nice phone holder over here, which even has the details of putting flexible rubber on it to be able to easily take out your phone. We have storage up here, tray storage, that can also second as phone storage. And then in the back here, we've got 12 volts and USB plugs. Make that nice and easy. Easy access to our storage. And again, you can see kind of that it's finished off down there. And below that is gonna be some ballast tanks. And then nice easy flip down seat to be able to go ahead and get in and out of the boat without stepping on your upholstery. We'll show that here in a couple of minutes. Moving over to the other side, a lot of the same. Again, ample storage, phone storage, multiple spots, um, even little details like light here for the 20 for the LSV. Easy to get to your storage. Self-supporting hinges is a great thing. And then one of my favorite features, we'll throw Ted's phone in the trash now. But we got our trash right there. And then easy to go ahead and get to by just flipping this up. Taking our trash can out and we're good to go. But ample room. 
That's the name of the game with the 26 LSV. So one of the highlights on the new 26 LSV is their completely redesigned back seat. It has multiple features, but one of my new favorite ones with it is I can easily remove the center there to make, so I'm not stepping on my vinyl or my cushions. Nice, natural, easy to get in and out. Totally nice feature. How cool is this? Easily convertible table. Drink holders, set my sandwich here. Definitely nice and easy. And it also moves along a track system down here. So if I want to go ahead and move the table further back for people down here to go ahead and be able to use it, super easy to do. And wait, there's more. We've got four seats. Be able to face backwards and catch all the fun. One, two, three, four, and even a fifth for your observer seat. So everybody gets to be part of the action. And then plenty of leg room down here that even people along the sides in the back corner can go ahead and have their feet down there along with two people here and everybody has plenty of leg room. Moving on to the tower, we have the nice TTM clamping board racks. Spin in. Makes it easy for when you're coming into the dock. We've got our wet sounds, rev 10 speakers, nice and loud so you can hear it 75 feet back, uh, maybe a little less when you're wakeboarding. We've got side pull um, for new surfers. Go ahead and hook your surf rope up to here. It's a lot easier to pull them from the side of the boat. Moving up top here, we've got power um, tower for this, so you can go ahead and twist it here. And they even have down lights to go ahead and light up the cockpit at night. Moving forward, we put the extended bimini top on this boat. Super cool, they give you a lot more shade. And then up top, you can see I've got some surfboards up there to give you plenty of surfboard storage. All right, moving to the back of the boat, the heart of it all is the motor. And very cool, Malibu puts fuel fills on both sides to make it nice and easy to make that heart work good. And we go ahead and flip up our storage cover here. And we have um, our ballast, L-shaped ballast tanks there, really provide a great wave. And then we can put optional up to 750 pounds of additional ballast bags that will overflow and automatically spit out the side. Go ahead and flip up our other side showing storage. But it also really protects the heart, you know, your engine there, from any water intrusion. Holding the engine cover down further. Flip that up, and we've got a nice spot to go ahead and uh, throw your life jackets in. There's a drain inside there with a hose down to the bilge. So easy to go ahead and warm up your life jackets on a cooler day, dry them out a little bit quicker. And let's go ahead and get to that nice LT4 supercharged Malibu Monsoon engine. So moving to the back of the boat, we have some really unique seats here. Easy to go ahead and give yourself some extra back support here to make it a little bit more comfy. Or beneath it, there's a little bit of extra storage. So we can go ahead and take this piece, slide it out, flip it up. We have a storage tray right here. And then it also gives us access to be able to get to our ballast there also. Really well thought out detail here. Easy to go ahead and put back together. We have our ski pile on here. Go ahead and twist, lock it in place. Pull your tuber from here. I don't know how much people are gonna be skiing on this boat, but easy to pull your tuber from that. Over on our other side here, Wet Sounds has a nice little um, transom remote for us to control our tunes. And moving down right to the center here, well thought out where they place their camera. It's right at the water level. Start up the boat. We can go ahead and see what's going on behind us with any water sports activity. And it also, you know, definitely increases safety a little bit too. All right, over on the side here, we've got Surfgate, which makes surfing so much easier. Um, when you're ready to surf, you push a button. I want to surf on the left side. This right surf gate's going to go ahead and deploy and delay the convergence of the water from meeting, building up the pressure and building a surf wave over on the other side. 
cool thing with that is you don't have to list or lean your boat like you would with a trim tab. There's no shoving all of your friends over to one side or hey, I'm doing the G ride today, getting my gangster lean in. Um, nice and easy to go ahead and continue driving because that boat stays flat with surf cave. Moving over down below here, we've got Power Wedge 3, which simulates between 15 and 1700 pounds worth of ballast. This foil comes down, pulling the rear end of the boat down, making that surf wave either longer or shorter with more um, steepness of it and more push. We have the surf pipe here, which is putting all of your missions down into the prop stream with the hope of them bubbling up back behind the surfer. And then one of my favorite features is our swim step. Flip this down, makes it easy to go ahead and grab onto your handle as you're trying to get up onto the boat. Also, it makes something nice to go ahead and lean up against or even just sit in the water when you're hanging out at the sandbar. We've got underwater lights on this boat also. And then moving on to the trailer, nice big transom step to make it easy to go ahead and get up into the boat. Moving down the side, we've got steps making it a little easier getting up. And then also nice swim mat over top with Malibu decal in it, even Malibu light going along the side. So moving up to the front of the boat, we have our nice futuristic slim line LED docking lights. Trailer's definitely really nice having the ladder going up, just two little platforms, kind of minimalistic. Our nice big Fulton um, jack. We've got a nice swing away tongue here. And then Malibu doesn't miss on details. They want to make sure, hey, you're trailering level. So you even have a nice level there, be able to go ahead and make sure you're trailering the best that you can be. One of the best things for Malibu is they go ahead and produce all of their trailers in-house, um, which definitely helps out with quality control and availability. Um, so we're able to get our boats a little bit quicker, um, make sure that we have them in stock. And then also down the road, if you have issues, you need parts, you can go through the brand that goes ahead and sells you the boat. You're not going through two separate companies. It makes it a ton easier. Thanks so much for joining us today with Buckeye Sports Center Huron. This boat is exclusively up at our Huron location up off the Rye Beach Road in Huron, Ohio. Um, give us a call, visit our website, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Definitely always check out our YouTube page and check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks so much.